Okay, hello. Just wanted to show you this uh, app that is available on the App Store. Uh, not too sure if there's an Android version. Please feel free to hunt around and see if you can uh, find something similar. So ACN PCN is the aircraft classification number. Uh, PCN is the pavement classification number. Keeping it really simple, the basic uh, idea around ACN and PCN is do not allow your ACN to exceed the PCN. This little calculator gives you um, really good information with respect to the ACN PCN. Um, in fact, what you can do is uh, jump into the app go to the home page and uh, it will give you a whole bunch of uh, aircraft you can perform your assessment on and uh, we've got our A320 here uh, from our aircraft library and up the top we choose our PCN from our aerodrome this will come out of your URSA so let's choose a PCN of 28 today uh, flexible pavement or rigid let's go flexible Subgrade, uh, D, C, B or A, A being the highest, D being the lowest. So let's choose an A subgrade today. Um, w, X, Y and Z is the uh, tyre pressure categories. Um, if you're not too sure about uh, what these represent, if you go to the uh, About section of this app, it will break down the, uh, the subcategories with your tyre pressures. I'm going to leave it as a W. And the T and the U. T is for uh, tested values. U is for um, essentially what it means in simple terms is untested values. Okay. So let's carry out uh, our assessment on this uh, PCN. And compute. And so what this is telling us is that uh, the pavement at this particular aerodrome or runway does restrict the maximum allowable aircraft weight. So if you wanted this A320 to come to your aerodrome and you only had a PCN of 28, um, you would need to restrict the maximum aircraft weight to 55.4 tonne uh, in order to avoid an overload of the pavement. So it's a pretty handy little assessment. If we go back to the home page, um, here up the top there is this button which includes ICAO overweight ops allowance. Um, what that means is ICAO in their document 9157 um, basically says you can overload your pavement by up to 10% and it should not cause any negative uh, issues at your aerodrome. Um, in Australia we don't reference the 10% overload so use that at your own risk um, I would suggest keeping it off um, that being said if you do want to uh, reference the ICAO overload allowance you can switch that on last but not least the aircraft themselves there's a library um, so you can scroll through the library of aircraft and download these uh, these aircraft they are in-app purchases I will warn you that uh, if you're going to add an aircraft to the list um, they do get pretty pricey um, so for example if we jump in there um, you can see it's $7.99 per aircraft purchase so look I think it's worthwhile if you keep your aircraft list fairly small um, if you want to add uh, many aircraft to your list then it's obviously not going to be very viable because it starts to get pretty pricey anyway that's it guys I thought I'd just uh, run through this app with you I find it pretty useful so I thought I'd share the app all right take care bye